Once upon a time was a casino boss with a face that was baked in barbecue sauce, the hair on his head. It looked like a squirrel said he grabbed it by the crotch if he was a girl. He likes beauty queens, suburban housewives, porn stars. His casino's filed for bankruptcy, so he got himself a job in reality TV, made half a mil, and then pissed it away. Now he pays less tax than his hotel made. $750. What an outrage. Let's cut taxes. He prefers to get his political views from the supermarket tabloids and Fox News conspiracy theories. He thinks they're great from QAnon to the evil deep state. QAnon says Trump's the chosen man to stop an evil pedophile band, even though the Donald used to make the scene with a convicted pedophile named Epstein. And his pimp, Ghislaine Maxwell. Trump wishes her well. Trump claimed Obama was a foreign guy from some shithole country called Hawaii. It's a U.S. state. Don't give me that. The place is swarming with Democrats. Polynesians, cannibals, liberals, got elected president against all odds with help from hackers and Russian bots. Every U.S. intelligence organization said Russia jammed the internet with disinformation. Well, they was feeding us lies to give Trump our votes, but Trump said, no, it's all a hoax. Trump's top aides were convicted by the court. They were begging Russia for campaign support. Paul Manafort. George Papadopoulos. Next up, Don Jr. Trump's favorite dirtbag was Roger Stone. He's the sleaziest dude you've ever known. He'd kill his own mom if Trump just asked. Got a picture of Nixon tattooed on his ass. He covered for Trump, said, I won't talk. Then he threatened a witness. His puppy dog got convicted for seven felonies, but he begged for a pardon and Trump set him free. Trump said he'd drain the swamp. Now it's a cesspool. The next thing he ordered was a Muslim ban, with an exception for Mohammed bin Salman, who did a Jeffrey Dahmer on a newspaper man, chopped him up, and Trump said he's my man. Making Saudi Arabia great again. Said he'd build a wall to keep the brown folks away, a beautiful wall, and Mexico would pay. Says Mexicans are rapists taking jobs that are ours. That's why he likes to hire him to work in Trump Tower. Built five miles of wall in four years' time, and the government of Mexico still ain't paid a dime. When refugees approach the border personnel, they put the kids in cages and they call it a hotel. Refugees call it the dog kennel. He called an ally who was under attack, said, I'll help you out if you scratch my back. There's a guy named Biden who's whooping my ass. Could you make up some shit about his son real fast? About a dozen folks were listening in, diplomats, lawyers, and servicemen. They all said, hold it, that's corrupt. But the Republican Senate just said, so what? It's party before country. Putin paid ransoms to Afghan groups for shooting and bombing American troops. Trump said it's a hoax, it just can't be. Vlad's always said nice things about me. Who cares if Putin invaded Crimea? Let him join the G7, it's a great idea. But if he offers you vodka from Vladivostok, make sure it don't smell like Novichok. It makes you fall asleep. A sacred field in the north of France where American troops stopped a German advance. Trump refused to honor the American dead, said the rain might mess up that thing on his head. He asked why our soldiers died in wars when they could have just said they had bone spurs. Suckers and losers, you have no clue. I just don't get it. What's in it for you? Why fight against the Nazis in the Aryan race? They're very nice people, my Republican base. And if what I just said is true, would that make Jesus a loser too? I don't get it. What was in it for the Lord? Then coronavirus hit. Things were getting tragic, but Trump reassured us it had vanished like magic. It's just a little flu, said the commander-in-chief, then admitted on tape that he's lying through his teeth. That was number 25,000. 
He said, stop the testing and the contact traces. If we don't have tests, we won't have no cases. The elderly, they might be dying like flies, but at least my stocks will continue to rise. Trump said he discovered a new vaccine. We can cure it by injecting bleach chlorine. It'll kill the virus and heal the nation, because everyone who takes it will become Caucasian. Making America great again. Talking about prisoners of war who fought, he said he likes the ones who don't get caught, but the closest he's come to being in a war was a super spreader bash in the White House bar. Crowd close together, we heard him ask, you don't need them freaking socialist masks. Next thing you know, he was starting to wheeze, and then they hauled him in the copter off to Walter Reed. It was Wuhan flu, and there ain't no doubts, and he was kind enough to give it to the whole White House. Then Trump and his staff were in quarantine, but me, I like presidents who don't get COVID-19. Trump says the best way to save the nation is removing environmental regulation, clean water, clean air, pollution control. Forget about that. We need more coal and climate change. It's all a ruse. Wildfires, hurricanes, it's all fake news. Forget what the experts recommend. I get all my science from Fox and Friends. And Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, they got BS degrees. Colin Kaepernick, well, he took a knee to protest police brutality. The Donald said that the NFL should get that son of a bitch expelled. And ever since that fateful day, the football owners wouldn't let him play. Then a Minnesota cop also took a knee on the neck of an unarmed black detainee who died calling out his mama's name, and the world would never be the same. Protests spread from sea to sea. After 400 years, we can finally see. Racism. It's really a thing. Who knew? Some of Trump's supporters like to have their fun by dressing like commandos and playing with their guns. They guard the Bill of Rights, but they only know of one, the right to shoot a liberal with your automatic gun. They stormed the state capitol with M-16s, defending people's right to spread a dread disease. Trump cheered them on, said liberate the state, so they tried to snatch a governor from a Michigan estate and kill some cops to end tyranny. But now the fools are headed to the penitentiary. The sheriff says their patriots calls for their release, and still they wonder why folks want to defund the police. The FBI says domestic terrorists are mostly white supremacists. Trump says it's Antifa, not his proud guys, but just in case he loses, he tells them to stand by. Evangelicals say he's God's chosen guy. Just ignore the commandment, thou shalt not lie. And the one about your neighbor's wife, well, if you're rich and famous, have the time of your life. And adultery, well, it's now okay if you're a Fox News boss or Donald J. Trump offers prayers to the Prince of Peace, flash bomb grenades, and riot police. Does he go to church? Well, not a lot, except for the occasional photo op. Evangelical leaders say it's all okay because we got some new judges who will vote our way. Now, nobody listens to their pious decrees because they lost all moral integrity. They made Christian faith serve right-wing views when you bargain with the devil. Gotta pay your dues. Well, he says his fans would still stay true if he shot someone on Fifth Avenue. And with all we've seen him say and do, I'm starting to wonder if it might be true. He's disgusted by his MAGA fans, says he hates to shake them by the hand. But after all of this, if Trump is still your idol, don't expect you'd be welcome at his place in Mar-a-Lago. He's a stable genius, you all can see. Person, woman, man, TV of all the presidents. He's your fave, wants to stay on Rushmore next to Honest Abe. He says, I'll rule forevermore. Elections, what do we need them for? The polls may show me losing big, but I ain't going nowhere because the whole thing's rigged. I tell you, it's bogus, it's mail-in fraud, and if I lose the election, I swear by God, Nazis, bikers, and the KKK will be ready to rumble on inauguration day. The Aryan Republican Army, Bikers for Trump, Death Eaters. 
let's suppress the vote, Trump did conclude, because if everyone votes, I'm totally screwed, so to make sure folks can't vote by mail, I'll do what I can to make the post office fail. And to find the nearest ballot location, you're gonna have to drive all over creation, and to all the city voting polls, we'll be sending our friendly armed patrols. Democracy in action. North Korea style. But now they're rising up all over the place to put an end to this national disgrace. Black folks, brown folks, white folks, greens, Democrats, Republicans, and people in between. So get out and vote however you can. Don't let this national nightmare stand. Let's show them decency has not died and bury that sucker in a big landslide.